Welcome, stargazers and time travelers, to another captivating journey through the cosmos with cosmic serenity. I'm your guide through the wonders and mysteries of the universe, and today, we're embarking on an extraordinary expedition to unravel one of the most enigmatic concepts known to humanity, time itself. Prepare to have your minds expanded and your perceptions challenged as we delve into the scientific and philosophical intricacies of time. We'll explore how this elusive concept has puzzled brilliant minds for centuries, and how our understanding of it continues to evolve with each new discovery. Let's begin our journey by acknowledging a fundamental truth. Time, despite being an ever-present part of our lives, remains one of the most perplexing aspects of our reality. It's a concept so familiar yet so abstract, so constant yet so fluid. As we navigate through this exploration, remember that even the most brilliant physicists and philosophers grapple with the true nature of time. Our first stop on this cosmic voyage is the realm of physics, where time takes on dimensions far beyond our everyday experience. In the world of physics, time isn't simply a ticking clock or a calendar on the wall. It's a fundamental component of the universe itself woven into the very fabric of reality. Interestingly, physics doesn't offer us a single, universally accepted definition of time. Instead, it provides us with a framework to understand how time behaves and how it can be measured. This might seem surprising at first. After all, time feels so intuitive in our daily lives. We wake up, we go about our day, we sleep, and the cycle repeats. But as we'll discover, Time is far more complex and mysterious than our everyday experiences suggest. One of the most revolutionary ideas in physics that transformed our understanding of time came from the brilliant mind of Albert Einstein. His theory of relativity didn't just change how we think about time, it completely reshaped our conception of the universe. Einstein proposed that time isn't absolute or universal. Instead, it's a dimension much like length, width, and height, but with some unique properties. This dimension of time is intricately interwoven with the three spatial dimensions we're familiar with, forming what physicists call the four-dimensional space-time fabric. Imagine a vast cosmic tapestry, where space and time are threads woven together so tightly that you can't pull one without affecting the other. This is the essence of space-time. It's not just a theoretical concept. It's the stage upon which the entire cosmic drama unfolds. But Einstein's insights into the nature of time didn't stop there. He introduced us to a mind-bending phenomenon known as time dilation. This concept challenges our intuitive understanding of time as a constant, unchanging flow. Time dilation tells us that time isn't a fixed, universal constant ticking away at the same rate for everyone and everything. Instead, the rate at which time passes can change depending on certain conditions. It's as if time itself is elastic, stretching and contracting based on the circumstances. There are two main types of time dilation that Einstein's theories predict. The first comes from special relativity and deals with objects moving at high speeds. The faster an object moves, the slower time passes for that object relative to a stationary observer. This isn't just a theoretical prediction. It's been confirmed by numerous experiments and is even accounted for in the GPS systems we use every day. Imagine two twins. One stays on Earth while the other embarks on a journey through space at nearly the speed of light. When the spacefaring twin returns, they would have aged less than their Earth-bound sibling. Time would have passed more slowly for the twin moving at high speed. The second type of time dilation comes from general relativity and involves gravity. Time passes more slowly in stronger gravitational fields. This means that time actually moves slightly faster at the top of a tall building compared to ground level, where the Earth's gravitational pull is stronger. These concepts of time dilation challenge our everyday perception of time as a universal, steady flow. They reveal a universe where time is dynamic and relative, behaving differently depending on motion and gravity. As we continue our cosmic journey, let's explore another fascinating concept in physics that radically alters our perception of time. The Block Universe Theory. The Block Universe Theory, also known as Eternalism, suggests that the entire history of the universe past, present, and future already exists as a single four-dimensional block. In this view, time doesn't flow like a river. Instead, it's more like a vast landscape where all moments coexist. Imagine a loaf of bread. 
Each slice of the bread represents a moment in time. Just as all the slices exist simultaneously within the loaf, the block universe theory proposes that all moments in time exist simultaneously in this four-dimensional block. This concept challenges our intuitive understanding of time's passage. According to the block universe theory, the feeling that time is flowing, that the present is special, and that the future is undetermined, is merely an illusion. It's a result of our consciousness moving through this four-dimensional block, experiencing different slices of the timescape. The block universe theory aligns well with Einstein's theories of relativity. In relativity, there's no universal now moment that all observers would agree on. Different observers moving at different speeds or in different gravitational fields would disagree on which events are simultaneous. This suggests that all moments are equally real and coexist in a four-dimensional block. However, it's important to note that while the block universe theory is consistent with our best physical theories, it's not universally accepted. It raises profound questions about free will and the nature of consciousness. If all of time already exists, are our choices predetermined? How do we reconcile this with our experience of making decisions and shaping our future? As we ponder these questions, let's shift our focus from the world of physics to the realm of philosophy, where thinkers have grappled with the concept of time for millennia. Philosophers have long debated the nature of time's passage. One of the central questions in the philosophy of time is whether time objectively flows or whether this flow is merely a subjective experience. The idea of time as a flow is deeply ingrained in our everyday experience. We feel time passing, we remember the past, and we anticipate the future. But is this flow a fundamental feature of the universe? Or is it simply how our minds process and organize our experiences? Some philosophers argue that the flow of time is objective, that there's a real, universal present moment that's constantly advancing. This view aligns with our intuitive understanding of time and seems to match our lived experience. However, other philosophers contend that the flow of time is subjective, a product of how our consciousness interacts with the world. They argue that the universe doesn't inherently have a privileged, now moment that moves forward. Instead, our perception of time's flow arises from how we process memories, sensations, and anticipations. This debate leads us to another fundamental philosophical divide in our understanding of time, presentism versus eternalism. Presentism is the view that only the present moment truly exists. According to this perspective, the past no longer exists and the future doesn't yet exist. Only the current instant of now is real. Presentism aligns well with our intuitive sense of time. We experience the present moment, we have memories of the past, and we can imagine the future, but we can only directly interact with the present. On the other hand, eternalism, which we touched on earlier with the block universe theory posits that all moments in time, past, present, and future, exist eternally. In this view, the present isn't special. It's just the moment we happen to be experiencing right now. Eternalism is often favored by physicists because it aligns well with the theories of relativity. However, it challenges our intuitive understanding of time and raises complex questions about free will and the nature of change. As we navigate through these philosophical perspectives, we encounter another fundamental mystery. The direction of time. Why does time seem to flow from past to future? Why do we remember the past but not the future? This apparent arrow of time is a puzzle that bridges physics and philosophy. In our everyday experience, time has a clear direction. We age but never grow younger. We remember the past, but can't recall the future. Eggs can break, but broken eggs don't spontaneously reassemble. This one-way flow of time is known as the arrow of time. Physicists have identified several arrows of time in nature. The thermodynamic arrow of time is based on the second law of thermodynamics, which states that the entropy disorder of an isolated system always increases over time. This explains why it's easy to mix hot and cold water, but impossible to unmix them. There's also the psychological arrow of time, which is our perception of time's flow and our ability to remember the past but not the future. The cosmological arrow of time is related to the expansion of the universe since the Big Bang. Interestingly, most fundamental laws of physics are time-symmetric, meaning they work equally well whether time runs forward or backward. 
So why do we experience time as having a definite direction? This remains one of the deepest mysteries in physics and philosophy. As we continue our exploration of time, let's delve into its intimate relationship with change. Time and change are so closely linked in our experience that it's hard to imagine one without the other. We perceive the passage of time because things around us are constantly changing. The sun rises and sets, seasons come and go, we grow older, and the world transforms around us. But this raises an intriguing question. If there were no change, would time still exist? This question leads us to the concept of frozen time, a hypothetical state where nothing changes. In such a state, would time have any meaning? Would it even exist? Some philosophers argue that time is fundamentally about the ordering of events, and without change, there would be no events to order. However, others contend that even in a changeless universe, time could still exist as a dimension, much like space. Just as empty space exists between objects, time might exist even in the absence of change. This relationship between time and change also raises questions about the nature of the present moment. Is the present an instantaneous point separating the past from the future, or does it have some duration? If it's truly instantaneous, how can change occur in a moment without duration? If it has duration, how long is the present, and where do we draw the line between present and past or future? These questions highlight the complex interplay between our experience of time, the physical world, and our conceptual understanding of reality. As we ponder these profound questions, let's turn our attention to a more practical aspect of time, how we measure it. The measurement of time has been crucial to human civilization, from ancient sundials to modern atomic clocks. Our methods of measuring time have evolved dramatically over the centuries, reflecting our changing understanding of the universe and our technological capabilities. Early timekeeping devices like sundials and water clocks relied on observable natural phenomena. Mechanical clocks, developed in medieval Europe, used the regular oscillations of pendulums or balance wheels to mark the passage of time. In the 20th century, we entered the era of atomic timekeeping. Atomic clocks, which use the vibrations of atoms to measure time, are incredibly precise. They're so accurate that they wouldn't gain or lose a second in millions of years. But as our methods of measuring time have become more precise, they've also revealed the limitations of our traditional concepts of time. Atomic clocks have shown that time passes at different rates at different altitudes due to gravitational time dilation, as predicted by Einstein's theories. Our increasing precision in timekeeping has practical implications, from GPS navigation to financial trading. But it also raises philosophical questions. If time can be measured with such precision, does that mean it's a fundamental property of the universe? Or is our precise measurement of time simply a human construct imposed on a more complex reality? Moreover, our methods of measuring time influence our perception of it. The invention of accurate clocks and the standardization of time zones changed how societies organize themselves and how individuals perceive the passage of time. In many ways, our measurement of time shapes our experience of it. As we reflect on these insights, Let's turn our gaze to some of the most profound, unanswered questions about time. Questions that push the boundaries of our understanding and spark our imagination. One of the most fundamental questions about time is whether it had a beginning. Did time start with the Big Bang, or did it exist before that? This question lies at the intersection of cosmology, physics, and philosophy. The Big Bang Theory, our best current model for the origin of the universe, describes the universe as expanding from an incredibly hot, dense state about 13.8 billion years ago. But what happened before the Big Bang? Did time itself begin at that moment, or was there a before the Big Bang? Some theories suggest that the Big Bang was the beginning of our universe, but not necessarily the beginning of time itself. There could have been previous universes, or our universe could be part of a larger multiverse. Other theories propose that time as we understand it began with the Big Bang, and that asking what came before might not even be a meaningful question. These questions touch on the limits of our scientific knowledge and our ability to conceptualize reality. They remind us that our understanding of time is still incomplete and that there are frontiers of knowledge yet to be explored. Equally intriguing is the question of whether time will have an end. 
will the universe expand forever, leading to a heat death, where all energy is evenly distributed and nothing more can happen? Or will it eventually collapse back in on itself in a big crunch? Or is there another fate awaiting our universe and time itself? These questions about the beginning and end of time highlight how our understanding of time is intimately connected to our understanding of the universe as a whole. They remind us that time isn't just a backdrop against which events unfold, but a fundamental aspect of the cosmos itself. As we near the end of our cosmic journey through time, let's explore one of the most captivating and controversial topics related to time, the possibility of time travel. Time travel has been a staple of science fiction for over a century, capturing our imaginations with tales of journeys to the past and future. But is time travel more than just a fantasy? Could it be scientifically possible? Interestingly, our best physical theories don't rule out the possibility of time travel entirely. Einstein's theory of general relativity, in particular, allows for some intriguing possibilities. Time travel to the future is, in a sense, already possible through time dilation. If you were to travel at speeds close to the speed of light or spend time near a very strong gravitational field, time would pass more slowly for you than for those left behind. When you returned, you would have effectively traveled into the future. Time travel to the past is more problematic. While general relativity doesn't explicitly forbid it, it raises a host of paradoxes and logical problems. The famous grandfather paradox is a prime example. If you traveled to the past and prevented your grandparents from meeting, how could you have been born to make the trip in the first place? Various solutions have been proposed to resolve these paradoxes. From the idea of parallel universes to the notion that the universe somehow self-corrects to prevent paradoxes. However, these solutions remain speculative. Moreover, even if time travel is theoretically possible, the practical challenges are enormous. The conditions required, such as wormholes or cosmic strings, are extreme and may not exist in reality or be manipulable by technology. The question of time travel isn't just a scientific one. It's also deeply philosophical. It touches on questions of causality, free will, and the nature of reality itself. If time travel to the past is possible, does that mean the future is already determined? Or does it imply the existence of multiple timelines or parallel universes? As we conclude our exploration of time, let's take a moment to reflect on the profound implications of what we've discovered. Time, more than just a number on a clock, is a fundamental aspect of our universe. It's woven into the very fabric of reality, influencing everything from the orbits of planets to the ticking of our heartbeats. Yet, despite its ubiquity, Time remains one of the most mysterious and elusive concepts in science and philosophy. Our journey has taken us from Einstein's revolutionary theories of relativity to the philosophical debates about the nature of time's flow. We've grappled with mind-bending concepts like time dilation and the block universe. We've pondered the relationship between time and change, and we've explored the cutting edge of timekeeping technology. Throughout this exploration, We've seen how our understanding of time challenges our intuitions and expands our perspective on the universe. Time isn't the simple, linear flow we experience in our daily lives. It's a complex, multifaceted phenomenon that behaves in surprising ways under extreme conditions. We've also seen how deeply intertwined time is with other fundamental aspects of reality. It's inseparable from space in the fabric of space-time. It's intimately connected to the arrow of entropy in thermodynamics. It's a crucial component in our theories of the universe's origin and evolution. Yet, for all our scientific progress, many questions about time remain unanswered. We still don't fully understand why time seems to flow in one direction. We're uncertain about whether time had a beginning or will have an end. The possibility of time travel remains a tantalizing but elusive prospect. These unanswered questions aren't just academic curiosities. They touch on deep, fundamental issues about the nature of reality and our place in the universe. They challenge us to think beyond our everyday experiences and consider possibilities that stretch the limits of our imagination. Moreover, our exploration of time reminds us of the incredible progress we've made in understanding the universe. From ancient sundials to atomic clocks, from Newtonian physics to Einstein's relativity, our conception of time has evolved dramatically. 
Each new discovery has expanded our horizons and deepened our appreciation for the complexity and wonder of the cosmos. As we move forward, it's exciting to consider what new revelations about time might await us. Will future theories of quantum gravity shed new light on the nature of time at the smallest scales? Will we discover new ways to manipulate time, perhaps even achieving some form of time travel? You can couple and uncouple from either an external camera or on foot. Uncouple from the wagons on foot this time. That concludes this training module.